How's everybody doing today? Uh, we're going to be playing some uh, more of the Dark Picture games. Little Hope. This is the one I wanted to play the most. And, uh... Didn't end well on the last game. But I'm going to try... Do a little bit better here. So, with that being said... Let's get to it. After I beat that Man of Medine, I I watched a trailer for a bunch of these games because I didn't really know they even came out and the quarry actually looks really good. Like that might be the one I want to play the next, but uh, this one I wanted to play the most though. It looked really cool. But I've heard they just get better as they go along. Cause the last one I was like, it was okay, but not a huge fan. Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. You're right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. Uh-oh. You okay, buddy? We gonna so die. Confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. Yeah, something tells me that's not going to be the case. I wish you could make it full screen though. If that chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. How long have you been sober? It's shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? Well, that's not good. Oh boy. Oh, this must be like 70s or something. Look at that car. Stop it, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. 
Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Oh. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this is? You're not is the me? only one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Jesus. Not right now. I guess we could say it's a troubled home. Not tonight. No way. I mean, we all been there though. Just come home from work. Want to just chill? Tanya's late. She always is these days. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> he came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will you? A really weird looking child. Hey, Bigfoot, mind the goddamn vinyl, will you? Come on, man, take some time off from being a dick and give her a break. Okay, Mother Superior. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you always sticking up for her anyway? She's just a kid. Calm down. Number one, Dad. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again. They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days, getting predictable. Like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the ten million time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-out oh my... collection. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think she was a marine sergeant of past life. I just... Hold up his ass. Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. Man, I love these games because all the characters are just like, like the dialogue's hilarious. Hey Dennis. You wanna play a game? Hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. Oh yeah, that chick. She's definitely crazy. <gasps> hey! Quit acting crazy! Sweetheart, I heard you talking about me. Whoa. Right now, Megan. Wow. Come back in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Dude, this kid, like, I feel so bad. Like, just absolute no love. That's why she's gonna be a crazy person. Uh oh.
Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? I don't know. Probably better to leave Megan alone. As her big sister, it is my sworn legal duty to check in on her. Right, sure. Like you're the law around here. She went upstairs. I'll go find her. Dude, this is the guy. The guy with the eyebrows. Like, we gotta keep him alive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I was watching the trailer for that Cory game. And, uh, dude, it looks hilarious. They're saying it's the best game since Until Dawn, and maybe... Oh, shit, what is this? What? You need to keep an eye on your little sister. Oh, shit. Mom is real worried about her. Wait, what button am I supposed to press? Oh my gosh, the frickin' Uh... It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You wanna try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Wow. What a dick. Now we know where Dennis gets it from. Wait, what? I don't really want to do this. It's like weird controls. It's almost like a 90 or like a really early 2000s game or something. You gotta click. Son of a bitch clock. Hold on, let me see if I can switch the controls. Oh yeah, it was on point and click for some reason. Oh wow, she's doing really bad. Wow, Megan is in even more trouble than I thought. What's over there? Dude, literally every door is locked or frozen. We just have all these Perfect like scary books in this madhouse. Hey, Tanya, you up there? How's Megan doing? Don't know, haven't seen her yet. Keep it down, will ya? Trying to sleep here. Now you've done it. Sleeping beauty wakes. Forget him, find Megan. Relax, <laughs> I'm on it. Do me a favor. Quit yelling for a couple of minutes. House could use some quiet. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, cause you're all about keeping the place quiet. Listen, funny guy. I've had a rough day. It's all the noise about anyway. Just checking in with Tanya and Megan. <laughs> Good luck with that. Megan's a handful. Guess I'll go check out my cooking then. Anthony, where the hell are you? Anthony, where are you, goddammit? 
Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off. I'm guessing I'm Anthony. Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me. Uh-oh. Gonna be some crazy you shit. Could be right about my family. Oh no. I think so too. Oh, Tanya, that's some boogeyman shit right on? there. That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Oh no. Well, this is definitely Shit. not great. Megan. You in there? The kitchen's on fire. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> <laughs> well, sweetheart, it's not a Megan. ideal situation. Dad. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> oh, dude, Mom. just jump. It's not even that bad. Where the hell is everybody? Anthony, help! <laughs> like some evil within shit man in the beginning of the second one I can't breathe. yeah I don't think they're gonna make it Oh my god. She's probably dead, so we're gonna help her. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, dude, there's nothing we could have done. Anthony! Help! What should I do? Uh yeah, climb down there. Jesus. Oh my god. Alright, maybe that was a bad idea. Totally on my part. Alright, well. Oh shit, no. Dude! Oh my god! Bro, he wasn't even close to that! Oh my god, he wasn't even close to that! Jesus, man! That's a way to start a game. What have you done? Mom, stop!
Bro, that's already, like, more crazy than the last game. Oh, man. I love this intro, too. It's like... Every, uh, every game's like a show. Won't you spare me over till another year? Yeah, I guess that's uh, beginning a little hope. Welcome back. I have a new story for you. It's very different to the last. <laughs> Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened, or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe, and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts. So much depth. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am a 
apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. A funeral I have to attend? None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace. Isn't that the guy? Well, this is so weird. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Ah! Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? What do you want me to do, John? Call for help, if you can manage that. I already tried once, but I'm on it. I'm so confused. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though, just shaken up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. <clears throat> oh, man. He didn't uh, have a good day. Fucking thing, useless piece of crap. May as well be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Uh. Uh. Fuck, where's my phone? It's all just a bunch of college kids. Anyone up there? Hey, Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. 
I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> oh. Hey, Taylor. Uh. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. Who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, you're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. <sighs> a character building Team exercise. Finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. Where's the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. He could just as easily have banged his head and walked off the other way. Fine. You can stay right here. I'll go myself. Hey, oh. Professor! He is a professor, right? I'm so busy. <laughs> can we stick together? I don't want to wait on my own. I guess he's right. We should all stick together. I got no signal either. Must be some kind of black spot. Or you didn't pay your last bill. You get that during the crash? Ugh, guess so. Well, it's so weird. What crawled up the professor's ass? He's I just a dick. Him a little more respect. He thinks he's smarter than us, but book smart is no good out here. He's all up himself, acting like the big man on campus. Oh, no. Oh, you're kidding me. Now what? Looks like something out of a creepy horror movie. Actually, you're nearly right. I've seen stuff like this in books. It's there to ward off evil spirits. Jesus. This really is a night full of nightmares. I think that's some, like, Blair Witch shit. You know this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. I can care less. <laughs> I couldn't care less about boring ancient history on a place no one has ever heard of. For me, it's interesting. Look into it sometime. You might learn something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm just going to be such a bitch. <laughs> she seems like she would say that, though. Good to see you two, finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. He's getting worried. I bet you were. This gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? I doubt it. Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Great job, you two. <laughs> What's the plan now? I already said I want to wait at the bus for help, not head into town like John wants. And we've already concluded this conversation. Not with everyone here, we didn't. We should vote on it. No need for a vote. Decisions made.
Can I just be a bitch? You scared you'll lose? There's not gonna be a vote. I'm sorry, but we really don't have time to be arguing. You'll stay here with me, won't you? Uh... Looks like he ain't so keen after all. Oh! You got something to say to me, spit it out. John's right. Heading into town is our quickest way to find help. Satisfied? Sure. Whatever you say. She's like the oldest 48-year-old I've ever Talks seen. Nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. Oh. I'm not wasting another breath on you. Quit it, will you? The last thing we need is you causing trouble. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? I'm still not sure heading into town is such a great idea. I'm going to hang out by the bus while you all do whatever you have to. You want to come along and wait with me? Oh, uh, yeah, I do. Oh, my I still God. think the smart move is for us all to stick together. You'd be glad we didn't stick together after we flagged down a car and come rescue your ass. So what they like about college is like, your professor's just another adult. And you could just be like, I'm out, bro. You get lost? No. We're back here? This doesn't add up. This is some very weird shit going on here. Spare us all. First he loses his pride, then he loses his way. What are you trying to say? That you've lost it. It's not possible. Look, I don't know what you're trying to prove here, but we've got better things to do. Daniel? Whoa. Hey, careful. Watch out. Quit fucking around and tell me what's going on here. The two of us will go together. This is getting ridiculous. Indulge me. What? what? I walked away from you! We're trapped here! There's no way out! I, I just don't understand! She's right. We walked dead straight going away from you. So, how'd we end up back here? Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. Well, looks like we're in quite the predicament that is here. A little odd. More than a little. <laughs> a little odd. See? What did I tell you? It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped. We can't leave here. No, okay. what do we do? Okay. Calm down. Breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. I'll be a bitch. You can't understand this. Don't you get that yet? What I do understand is none of us would fucking be here if it wasn't for you. You think I'm to blame? I don't want to be stuck here with you either. Nice. You're the guy in charge. We're definitely fucked. Right now, the fog appears to be in charge. Anyone but you, right? Do us all a big favor and get lost in the fucking fog. I wish I could Please believe me. Stop. Fighting isn't going to help. Where do we go now? We're fucked. We're not getting out of here. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right now. I need to think straight. Right Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up?
This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? <laughs> Come on. I'm let's leaving go with you. Them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. How'd you get that bruise? <sighs> no biggie. Must have got it when the bus crashed. That was weird. No. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. I don't like the look of that place at all. Maybe they won't ask for ID. 